If you are a single divorced dad who is suffering in silence, I know what that is. And you've come to the right page. That's Dad's Rising. You are definitely not. And going through a divorce is, is a crazy thing. It is just so stressful. But there's two things that are fundamentally important that you do. And number one, you got to get an attorney and you got to get an attorney that works for you. But the second thing that we talk about that he agrees upon, and even in the interview, I say, perhaps this is the most important thing. And he's like, you know what? I see how you can say that. But it's get your head right. Get happy. Do not allow this to mess up your life. And what is so fundamentally important about all of this is that if you are off or allow this massive ball of stress, this blow to your masculinity, this blow to who you are as a man, because divorce will do that to affect how you feel and your outlook on the world, it'll tear you up, man. It'll tear you up. And so this is why I say you've got to join a men's group. It may not be my men's group, but literally if you are anywhere in the world, you can access my men's group and get 24 hour support, seven days a week, very affordable price. Check out Men's Development Excellence. It's, it's good, good stuff. Divorce harder for men than it is for women. Men do not have a social structure. Generally speaking, their wives provide the social structure, set up everything, set up dates. So when a man gets divorced, it is very, very hard for him to of setting up a social structure and getting things together. That I think is why men, more than women, hook up as quickly as possible. So they have somebody else who's gonna take on the job of setting up the social structure and setting up all the dates. Divorce is harder on men than it is on women, because women have a social When a man is going through a divorce and a separation, a custody battle, his, his life is being ripped apart from him, he goes through some of the most intense and insane pain. And his mind will jump back and forth from, man, I screwed up, I can't believe I did this. Geez, she's such a horrible person, I can't believe she would do this. Women are all bad, I gotta swear it off. No, I gotta be more successful, I gotta get more women. I have to be able to one-up her. She's posting on social media about what a great person she is and she's the phoenix that has risen from the ashes. I lost the most important thing in my life. I wrecked it. I can't believe I'm such a stupid man. Life will never get better. I'll never be able to replace her. I'll never be able to get into a spot where I can have a life where I can be happy. It is all over. It is all done. Our minds run with all of this. Our minds run with the panic and the fear and sadly there's a whole subculture of people selling to men on that pain. See the process of healing if you're a man who's gone through this crazy and intense rite of passage in your life. You have to be led into a better life. And the sad part is, is if not, you get caught up into pain, you get caught up into power, you get caught into power over, you get caught up into a competition of who she is and how you need to change that. You miss the great, great calling that you've got to look deeply within yourself, to rise above it all, and to become a great, great man. And see, right now you can't see it. Right now it's like, man, how do I get her back? How do I get better than her? How do I prove to her that she's wrong? Get amongst men who can help you. Get amongst men who can save you. Get amongst people that have been there, that have done that, who have walked through this fire and become great. And part of walking through this fire is feeling what you're feeling right now. And this is the great road that we walk. This is the great road that we walk as men, quietly humbly with the power in ourselves that doesn't mean we need to convince the rest of the world that doesn't mean that we need to convince the other people out there it doesn't mean that we need to blame ourselves but the power within ourselves that creates footprints that creates a legacy that gets to the end of a horizon this is what we call greatness if you're a man going through a divorce if you're a man going through a custody battle if you're a man going through a separation any of those things it is imperative that you get the help that you need. i would tell you if you're going through divorce is just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Don't quit, don't lay down. No matter how hard it gets, put on your backpack and go to the top of the mountain. Never ever slow down, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. The second thing I would tell you is once you can count on yourself and trust yourself to do that, is really start focusing on yourself, on how you can level yourself up and make yourself better. Don't worry about being happy or not. Don't worry about what people think about you or not. Don't worry about what the future is going to look like in five or ten years from now. Worry about being a little bit better tomorrow than you were today. Don't quit. Keep leveling up. And then for me, I relied a lot on God and all that. To me, God is the truth, and I turned to God and... That's where a lot of, uh, you know, the, the direction It's so rough out there, my friends. For men who divorce, they lose more than half of their net worth. 
they lose their self-respect. And for a lot of divorced men, they even lose their lives. Divorced dads 10 times a day end themselves because they've come to the conclusion, I'm the problem, I'm the a-hole, remove me. They're cut off from their legacy, they're cut off from their kids, they feel rejected. And the person that I put ahead of my life, that I sacrificed for, that I love, that I put on this pedestal has abandoned me. Maybe I am worth worthless. Maybe I am a piece of crap. Maybe I don't deserve to be alive. And that negative self-talk drives them into the pavement and they take a permanent L. And now that pain and misery they feel inside gets rippled into the family, into the children. And the scariest part is for kids whose dads end themselves, they're more likely to do the same thing. My dad didn't stick around. Why should I? We gotta change. That. No, because I feel like we always talk about like how divorce affects women, but we don't talk about how it affects it men. It affects men the exact same way. I have three or four friends, some top top name. I'm not even gonna bring their names into it. A-list celebrities and big friends, regular friends. Every man, it affects them the exact same way. I know at least three people saying and like me. I don't give off about nothing. I literally considered suicide. Wow. I know three other guys literally considered it as well. It is exactly as devastating to a man as it is to a woman. Really? Absolutely. What's going on, my brother? Go out here, man, we're still putting in that work, man. You know, we're just putting in that work, man, and that shit is never ending. All right? You know, we say press on, and we say move forward, and we say keep going because it's like, yo, you got to get used to this shit because the work is going to be never ending, okay? The work is, doesn't stop, you know, anytime that you get to a certain place where you think you can rest, no, you can't do that, okay? This is about getting that turtle pace. It's about getting that pace, finding that pace. Sometimes you're going to get a lot of things on your plate that you may not have, you know, wanted on your plate. But at the end of the day, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. But in this case, if you may be going through a divorce or a separation, you don't know what's on the other side of that. OK, you really don't. But the only thing that you could do now is keep moving forward and keep working. OK, because it's never ending, because even if you do have peace and prosperity in your heart and you don't want to live in resentment and jealousy and things like that, you're going to have to work at it. OK, this is going to have to be something that you're going to have to work at. And you need a strategy, okay? So get with the pastor. Let's come up with a strategy, okay? Because you need a strategy because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And if you're not doing the work on a specific strategy, then you're not going to reach any of your goals. You're just going to be on a hamster wheel that's going to keep taking you back to your feelings and your emotions and all the things that you're experiencing, the things that's going wrong in your life and all of that. And you don't want to pay attention to that, although that thing is weighing on you heavy, all right? Let's get to work. Stay working. It never ends. Okay? This light transition into the next more work. All right? Pass that out, man. Much love. Fellas, you have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything distract you from your goals. This too shall pass. Remember, stay focused on your goals, stay strong in your frame, and stay positive.